Hi. Okay, guys. So, an unhappy video today. Um, on the weekend, uh, I came off the ZZR11. Um, it wasn't good details. Basically, there was nothing I could do. Uh, it was a metal, st uh, a long metal piece of metal on the road. I hit it in torrential rain. Bike spang out from underneath me and then sort of high sided me into the air. Um, luckily, I wasn't hit by any of the vehicles behind, uh, but you know. But uh, broken bone and such, you know. But what's more important is the ZZR. Just when I said, I think in the previous video, that everything was done and it was uh, it was all finished. Um, so now we have to um, and now we have to set about rebuilding it. So I'll just show you what it uh, looks like. I'll just take the cover off. I'm one-handed at the moment, so it's a bit of a pain. Um, all right, so the left-hand exhaust, um, obviously the one that uh, is a is a one piece with the headers, it had to be cut off because it was folded underneath the bike and the bike couldn't stand up. Um, Damage to the fork, uh, damage to the my brand new one piece uh, uh, mud guard, but that's not too bad. Mirrors US, screen cracked, uh, indicators front and rear smashed, um, handlebars bent, um, clutch lever, bar end, um, <sighs> upper fairing smashed, lower fairing really bad and, and cracked as well um, inner cowl cracked tank uh, scratched and dented gear lever missing both footrests gone snapped off and the mounting plates also uh, gone uh, rear <sighs> rear panel lights all uh, damaged um, so, okay, there's some good news. I, I have an upper fairing already painted and ready to go. I have the rear, don't have the right graphic on it, but you know, it's, uh, it's all there ready to go. Um, also down in here, I don't know how well you can see it. It's a bit of a mess down in there. Um, the fairings, I've got a friend coming over who's going to strip the bike, um, take all the broken pieces off today because, again, I'm unable to do so because of uh, the fact that I can't use one arm. And um, so we can truly identify. At the moment, I've listed all the, for the insurance company, um, I've listed all the parts. Um, that uh, the cost of replacing all of these parts and at the moment it's running uh, it's over 3k so the bike will be technically a write-off um, but I've already spoken to the insurance company that uh, I'll accept an offer slightly below I don't want the insurance companies to keep it and then try to negotiate a sale price um, and, you know, I should, with the money that I'm going to ask for, I should just about be able to put it back um, to the condition it was two days ago. So, fed up? Yeah, a little, but there you go. C'est la vie. It's my first accident since... Uh, so, it's the first accident since 1987. Well, so, 78. So there you go. It's part of life. Um, it's disappointing that it was uh, the accident happened just after I said that it was finished and it was looking absolutely great. Um, it was lying in a uh, the bike was lying on the expressway in a huge downpour. It was a microburst, and uh, so I was a bit worried. I couldn't move it because I couldn't really move much. So. They were stuck there for a while until two very kind gentlemen um, 
tried to drag it off, but it wasn't easy because the rear of the bike was on the exhaust. The exhaust was folded up underneath the uh, bike, so it made it quite tricky. But um, yesterday, when the bike we got the bike recovered back from the police depot, um, back here, I started it up. It started immediately. It was very loud because one of the exhausts was, uh, say, missing because uh, we had to cut that off. Um, but hell. So I've been looking at the prices and actually they still do the left hand silencer. It's $1,500. Um, so I'm going to be fitting a, I'm going to get a complete new right, uh, sorry, left hand um, silencer. The whole thing with the downpipes as well. So there probably won't be many for sale for much longer, but Kawasaki is still supplying them. So I'll get one. Um, the, the big problem for me is really I could have this fit again in a couple of weeks, but uh, I can't use my arm because my collarbone is a bit smashed up. And uh, so that's really going to handicap me. And then if I check all the stuff, nearly all the stuff has arrived for the ZX R750. And again, I'm a little bit screwed because um, I can't work on the bike. So I may cheat. I may get somebody in to um, put it together with me, or at least uh, be, you know, offering advice, you know, which I'm always good offering advice. Um, because, you know, if this does take uh, eight to ten weeks before I can start using my arm properly, I don't want the bike sat around like they are, uh, getting finished. So, yeah, so... Uh, not great news, but hey, that's life. So it's just uh, going to recover now, and uh, my aim is to get back on the on the bikes ASAP. So the the quack says twelve weeks. My target is six to eight. Whoever believes doctors, anyway. All right. So just to keep you up to date. Okay, right fast, guys. Cheers.